How you doing? I'm Jamie. Hey. Jamie Oliver, a London celebrity chef, is really out of his element. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's right with that? Would you eat that? Yes, yes I think it's good. good. Nicknamed the Naked Chef because he cooks with food in its natural state, he went to rescue Huntington, West Virginia, the unhealthiest city in America. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for coming. We, we need the help. He taught the folks there healthy cooking. I'm tired of being heavy, and if Jamie says he can help me make a change, then I would really like that. It became a reality TV program called Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. Jamie says everyone who watches can learn from the lessons he teaches in Huntington. The program isn't about a freak town. It's about a town that's 3% different than the, na the national average. So it could be any town. He says the key to good health is eating fresh food, especially vegetables, something he saw very little of. I'm just feeling really sad and depressed right now. That you know, I want my kids to succeed in life, and uh, this isn't going to get them there. He showed the Edwards family how to prepare easy, delicious, and healthy meals, and even convinced them to bury their deep fryer. Dear Lord, this is something this family's needed in a long time. Then he hit the public schools. What's in here, honey? There's nuggets for today. So they get pizza for breakfast and chicken nuggets for lunch? Uh-huh. Jamie was appalled at the amount of processed foods the kids ate. It thickens quick. It's really, really good. A practice that is endorsed by the USDA. Hydrogenated canola oil, monoglycerides, artificial color, and lots of salt. Without trying to be dramatic, this is really, really dark times in health. Jamie freshened up the school lunches in Huntington, but only temporarily. A permanent change requires major policy action. Jamie Oliver isn't interested in changing the school lunches in just one city. He wants to change them in every American city, but he can't do it alone. Right now, I really need your viewers to try and support me if they believe in what I'm doing and go to uh, jamiesfoodrevolution.com and uh, sign the petition. It takes 30 seconds, and that's what I'm going to be taking to Capitol Hill in the White House to try and get pushed through this fresh cooking in schools for children. Jamie's presence in Huntington is literally an answered prayer. What we do with our bodies matters to God. How we treat our bodies matters to God. For months, Pastor Steve Willis told his congregation of 400 that being overweight is a spiritual problem. Honor God with your body. Saying since our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, how we treat them reflects how we feel about God. He warned against making food an idol and pointed out that Jesus commanded us to love God with all our strength. If we're not loving God with all our strength, if we're not taking care of our bodies, then we're not going to be able to do the second part of the commandment, which is love your neighbor as yourself. Why? Because we don't have the energy, uh, we, don't, we don't feel good about ourselves, we're worn down, we have poor health, and consequently we're not able to serve our families and we're not able to serve in ministries in the church. Unfortunately, his message wasn't sinking in until he gave it over to God. So I prayed, I said, Lord, you know, I need to figure out some way to do communicate the importance of this with the nutritional aspect. And uh, kid you not, you know, Monday, the people from uh, Jamie's group called and said, we're coming to Huntington and we'd like to partner with you. Since then, his congregation has lost weight and continues to lose. We need to share with everyone around us, the people we work with, the people we go to church with, our families. Look, this is a, just say it for what it is. This is a sin issue that I'm dealing with. And I need you all to love me enough to where when we go out, when we're eating dinner, whatever we're doing, I need you to help keep me accountable on eating healthy food options. So with a combination of motivation, knowledge, and policy change, Huntington is on its way to living down its notoriety as the unhealthiest city in America. Amen. Amen. Lori Johnson, CBN News.